be talking about animal extinction. And biodiversity. So, Akanksha, could you give us a brief definition of what animal extinction is? Animal extinction is when there is no more animals of a certain species left anywhere in the world. I know what animal extinction is, but what is biodiversity? I think biodiversity is how life varies between animals and a species, but I bet an expert could tell us more. Our field reporter, Sawyer, has been interviewing an, an employee of Happy Hollow about biodiversity and endangered animals that are there. Thanks, Henry. Here at Happy Hollow Zoo, they are taking care of a few types of endangered lemurs. They are taking care of the red rough lemurs, the black and white rough lemurs, and the ring-tailed lemurs. I'm about to talk to the zookeeper now about it. Do you think that the... The lemurs are better off living in Happy Hollow Zoo than out in the wild? Uh, I, I do think that some of them are better off living here. Um, so uh, if you saw our black and white rough lemurs just over there, and we've got the red rough lemurs, um, they are very endangered. Um, and so we are actually part of a, an organization um, called the Species Survival Plan. So uh, what we're doing is we're breeding specific lemurs together to make sure that there's a lot of genetic diversity um, because in the wild they're losing a lot of their habitat, a lot of their homes. Um, and so uh, right now we can't unfortunately kind of put them back in the wild because there's nowhere for them to go. Um, but hopefully down the road if uh, we can figure out how to save the rainforest that they're living in, um, then in the zoos we'll have enough lemurs and the lemurs won't be related to each other. They'll have enough genetic diversity that we could start putting some of them back in the wild. So if animals were to be going extinct, how would that affect us as, a, as humans? How would it affect our life? Well, it could affect us in a lot of different ways. So all, all animals and all plants, they're all interconnected, right? Because different animals eat different animals and eat different plants. And uh, with different, uh, for example, like one of the predators of these guys is the fossa, which we have one nearby. Um, if there weren't any more lemurs, then there wouldn't be any food for the fossa, and then there wouldn't be any fossas and all the fruits and stuff that the lemurs eat, those might grow too much and there wouldn't be enough space for them. Um, so everything's kind of interconnected. So when you take one animal out of that, it kind of throws everything else off balance. Oh. Do you think that we could stop animal extinction in the future? I think that we could, and I think that in some cases we actually have. So um, you saw that we've got an alligator exhibit that we're building over there. Um, so the alligator actually has a pretty cool story. They're the first animal that was actually taken off of the endangered species list. Uh, so they were endangered and they were getting towards that point of extinction. Um, and then scientists and a bunch of people came together and figured out a way to, uh, to help them thrive when people kind of... Uh, wanted to hunt them for their skin and for their meat, so they kind of figured out a compromise um, so that the people could sort of farm alligators, um, but then leave alligators also in the wild. So now the alligators are, their population's back up, so they're no longer endangered. Um, so that's just one example, but there's uh, scientists and biologists all over the world who are trying to figure out similar things for other animals. Do you know anything about biodiversity and what it is? I do, yeah. Yeah, so, uh, is that your question? So, biodiversity has to do with, in a certain area, having uh, a lot of different types of living things. So, different types of plants and animals. Um, and the more different things you have, kind of the better it is, because it's more exciting for everyone. If, if one group of animals gets sick, you know, then there's other animals that can kind of take their role in the environment. Um, and Madagascar, actually, where the lemurs come from, is one of the most biodiverse places on the whole planet. So it's a particularly important place for us to work to save. There's a lot of different plants and animals there that don't exist anywhere else in the world. So why is biodiversity maintained very important? So biodiversity is very important 
plants because again so all the animals and the plants they each have a different role so some of them are eating fruits and then spreading those seeds around so those plants can grow other places um, some animals are eating other animals and keeping those uh, populations in check. So the more different animals you have doing different roles, the kind of better everything is going to work together. So if you think of, uh, think of like a job that people have, if you have just say people are working in a factory and they're just like one type of person, that person can't possibly do all the different jobs in the factory. But if you have a bunch of different people who have a bunch of different skills, they can get everything done at that factory and they can do it a lot better than just that one kind of person. Does that make sense? Yeah. And um, is it fun for you to work at the zoo? It is fun. Yeah, I get to talk to people like you, which I really enjoy. I actually like when people ask me questions. Um, I get to uh, hang out with the animals. Um, some of them I just get to like look at and talk to. These guys don't really like uh, any other interaction than that. Um, but it's also a lot of hard work. I spend a lot of time raking leaves and picking up poop and dealing with rat food and stuff. So, but most of the time it's pretty exciting. I get to uh, hang out with some cool animals and take care of them and not a lot of people get to do that. So. Thanks. You're welcome. Good luck with your project. Wow, that was really interesting. Back to you, Henry and Akanksha. I never knew that there are so many bad things people do that hurt animals. I wish we could help look for animals. Yeah. for the better. 